Okay, here's a sand digger that was given to me. Funny story behind this is that uh, one of the viewers on my channel saw me out there digging with that uh, bicycle basket. <clears throat> He's also a member of the Facebook page Oregon Treasure Trail Society. And he happens to live about, I would say about seven blocks from the place we meet for the meetings for the uh, metal detecting club. So he got a hold of me on Facebook and says, hey, saw your video. I think he was laughing quite hard at me like myself. And uh, he said, I got a sand digger that uh, you can probably make something out of and you're welcome to have it. So I hit him up on that and picked it up last Tuesday. And uh, what's going on with it is the handle was busted right about here. So there's a piece of brass on there that he had put some screws in to hold the thing together. So I'm going to reconfigure the handle system on this thing. I'm also going to take some steel and weld it on here, coming up here and across down the other side to give it a brace. So when I step on it and push it in, it doesn't crush this basket. And then I'm going to run a brace up to here to give it strength there. Someone has done some brazing on it. So I'll make a start on this project and I'll show you the process as I get her done. Alright, well that piece, I had to make two of those, one for each side. Not a lot of fun to make as you can see, it's not just bent but twisted. It fits on here in this manner. You'll see the purpose of it later. Oops, get it centered. Because I'm going to give that the ability to where I can stand on this, push the scoop down in the ground. I'll have a brace from here going to the handle to make it a little stronger so it's not relying just on this. So, there they are. And they're made. Well, hopefully you'll learn by now when you see my mine lab hat sitting on my motorcycle, it is intermission time for a shout out. Relic Rangers, they are doing a giveaway, giving away a metal detector. Head over to their page, I will have a link in the description. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe, like the video, make a comment, get involved, and maybe you too could be a winner. I won one not too long ago on a giveaway. So, uh, end of intermission, and we'll get you back to my build. Well, there it is, the final product prior to paint. Probably going to give it a high visibility bright orange paint, kind of like the handle already is. Uh, what I ended up doing is taking the handle where it was broken off right here, that component, these little braces here, that extra piece, and that was all part of this handle part here. I ended up cutting it shorter, giving it that angle, giving it a brace there, welded in the end, filled in the hollow tube, or capped it more or less. And this piece down here is bracing for when I stand on this to push the scoop into the ground prior to pulling it up. I gave a little bit of bracing. It's not welded to the cage here, but the structure will hopefully give some strength so that when I push it in, I'm not standing here, which could tear the basket off the scoop. It might crush the back in, might pop the back off. <clears throat> Anything could happen, I suppose. Get out and use it enough. Hopefully I'll get a bunch of use out of it. Those little metal straps that are black, uh, those are quite fun to make because they don't just bend, but they have kind of a twist to them to go from the back to the front like that. <clears throat> kind of like the setup. Give you a couple views of different things here. Well, there it is. The top was a little bit caved in. I didn't fix that. I was going to take the brazing off and weld that in myself, but it looked pretty strong, so I left it like it is. Be able to stand up. Shove her into the ground, pull it up, shake it around, hopefully find something. Well, thanks for viewing. And there it is. Pretty cool setup. I will say thank you, Frank Kelso. He's the one that gave it to me. Got a hold of me on Facebook after watching my video on YouTube. He happens to live just about seven blocks from where we meet over in St. John's for the Metal Detecting Club. Ran over there last meeting and picked up from his house, brought it home, and made myself something out of it. Alrighty, well, next time you see that, I hopefully I'll be digging some uh, good targets, and we'll see you then.